Okay, apologies for not putting a video up sooner. Um, this is a chopping board that I'm making. It's oak. It's going to be an end grain chopping board. And it's actually made from some flooring cobbles that were actually thrown away somewhere where I happen to be. And I decided to take a few and see whether I could make a chopping board. And um, what I did was I sanded the two faces in each block and created some strips. And then with each strip, I plane the two faces that will contact and then join them together. And it looks pretty good. I mean, I've just noticed there's a crack here that's sort of just formed. But on this side, um, it's pretty good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to level this using the CNC machine. Obviously, if you're making this uh, from scratch with strips of timber, you could get it pretty bang on and you pr could probably avoid this stage of, uh, of the process. But because of where I found the material, um, this is quite essential. So in the same way that I leveled the bed of the CNC machine, I'm going to do that to this chopping board. So let's begin. I've got these bits of 12 mil, which I'm going to just simply screw to the side to hold this in one place. And I think that should be enough to be honest. Okay, that's pretty good. Now I just need to decide what bit to use. Okay, I'll go for this. It's a new bit. <coughs> I actually got this from China and it's a uh, up spiral bit. And it is, it was ridiculously cheap. Let's have a go. Okay, this is starting to look pretty good, but to finish it off, I'm actually going to use a razor blade, a little bit like a plane. And I've got two different types. I've got these 
flat edge ones but also have these um, sort of ridged ones you can see but this finish on the blade makes it a little bit like a toothing plane if I start rubbing the blade backwards and forwards on the top of this chopping board I'm actually starting to take tiny amounts off you can, you can kind of see it flaking off and when you do this you want to make sure you have a good clean new blade you don't want to be using something that has any chips in it which could uh, affect the surface I feel like using this technique is a bit like sort of knocking a cricket bat it kind of it densens up the grain okay I'm going to flip this round and do the other side okay there's a few things I need to do to finish this off including finishing with some kind of oil maybe add some feet to the underside I'm not going to do that in this video but if you'd like to follow that process you can add me or find me on Instagram and I'll be uploading images as I go along doing that um, I'm quite happy with this considering that I found all the oak as thrown away material um, like I mentioned at the beginning they were cobbles they were flooring cobbles they had only been finished at on the top with some kind of wax base polish um, that's all been uh, cleaned off obviously with the CNC machine and that layer will actually make the underside of the board just to kind of not seem too gross um, so the chopping board side was the underside of the cobbles that had contacted an adhesive so I'd cut it to each block about a centimeter anyway I'm really happy with this like I said follow me on Instagram to see the progress of this chopping board thanks for watching don't forget to sacrifice the thumb and I'll catch you during the next one